also an understanding at, at one point that, um, that we were using soccer just as a vehicle by which we were teaching principles, teaching kids to grow, teaching um, life lessons that long after they stopped playing soccer, they were going to be valuable. Um, but it was the passion for the game that drove me to do that. Yeah, and I, I think that's 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 critical. I, I'd love to hear that. That reminds me of something uh, John Wooden said, and he's like, really, all coaches are, are are teachers, right? And like, you have to if you if you realize that, it really kind of changes your mindset of about like going out to the field. Like, this is your classroom. This is your chance to really teach them something that they're going to, like you said, apply later on in their life. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, one of the, um, the best videos I've seen, um, and he has a number on YouTube, Ben Zander, who is a, a famous orchestra leader. And um, he, he once said, you know, I, I, I led orchestras for many years, and I had this realization that my picture is on the front of the cover of the CD, but I don't make a sound. Hmm. And yet they put my picture on the front of the CD. He yeah. said, my power comes from making other people powerful. Wow. And that's what coaching is, you know, that there was such a long period in my life where um, I thought it was all about me, you know, that I was doing it to get to the next uh, job, um, the next position, um, even sometimes, you know, better payday. Um, but I thought my coaching took a, um, a whole nother level when I understand uh, and understood that it was uh, my responsibility simply to help them grow and be the best they could be. And, and what happened was when I did that, it was at a point where my career really took off. Yeah, absolutely. And so do you think that there was a a person in your life or that kind of precipitated that that growth or was that just from you trying to just continue to keep learning and growing and and really just trying to read and absorb as much knowledge as you could hey, what a great question and um, a, a really interesting answer of how it came about um, there was a point in my life where I was at the University of Akron and um, my wife and I we wanted to to start a family and um, the income I was getting from the University of Akron wasn't great at the time. It was, you know, decent for a Division One head coach. Um, but we knew to start a family, we wanted Tina to stay home. So uh, somebody came to us uh, with an idea of a network marketing system that which we could do on the side, you know, that we could do and, and still have Tina be at home. Well, once we, we learned about it, one of the aspects of it after we had registered was they said, oh, by the way, there's a book of the month and a CD of the week that is geared towards your personal professional development. And I was a little bit put off by it because we had registered for this business and they said, now you need to buy a book of the month and a CD of the week. And I was a little bit cynical about it. But I also said to Tina, I said, listen, if we're in and I'm buying the book and buying the CD, I'm listening to it, I'm reading it. And it was amazing because the books that I was reading were more leadership books, more personal development books. And, and what happened was I started on this growth curve personally that helped me professionally as well. And once I started reading and adopting a lot of the principles that I was reading about and hearing about on the CDs, that not only helped you know, us in being better, better business owners, but more importantly, just to be better people. You know? and, and with that, I was a much better husband, I was a better father, but I was a much better coach. And it was at that point, my career took off and I understood um, much better that, that I needed to make, make a personal investment in myself first, if I was going to be able to help them grow to reach their, their greatest potential. Because if, if I had nothing to pour out on them, then I really had no way of really impacting their growth. So, so it, you know, it wasn't about me, but yet it was all about me. And, and it started first with, I had to first invest in my own growth, my own development so that I could be better for others. 